Peace and love, family. This is your big brother, Dr. Umar Ifatunde, King Kong Consciousness. For all of you who are interested in going with me to Africa this summer, we do have the package ready. Uh, the price is more than what my groups have paid in the past. My previous six group trips to Africa, with the last one being in 2019, they averaged $45 to $4,800 per person for double occupancy, with having your own room costing more than that. Well, the package that I just got has double occupancy for $6,000. And so, Peace King, and so I don't know if that is what the groups are costing now. It's been five years since I led a group. I wanna hear from you. If you think the $6,000 for the three countries of Ghana, Senegal, and Gambia is worth it, please let me know. If it is, we're gonna move forward. I wanna see how many of you are still willing to go at the new price, which is approximately $1,200 or more what we've paid for my previous six groups. But again, it's been five years, last trip being in 2019, and so maybe with the cost of gas, hotels, airplane, I don't know, but the price is much higher now than it was before. And I wanna know what you guys think. If you still want us to push forward with the Ghana, Gambia, Senegal trip, 14 days, 14 nights, then send me a text message, 215-989-9858. Say, Dr. Umar, I'm willing to pay the six grand for double occupancy or a little bit more for my own room. A lot of these trips are costing that kind of money now. I need to know what y'all think. So let your brother know, 215-989-9858. Do we push forward with the $6,000 three country package that's being offered? If y'all ready, I'm ready. I just wanna make sure we got at least 25 of you who wanna make this move. Black Power. Who's going with me to Ghana, Gambia, and Senegal? We, we almost to the finish line for the itinerary. I'm trying to make sure we got everything for y'all to fully enjoy yourselves. I want you to fully enjoy yourselves on Dr. Umar's seventh annual African group tour. My first tour in five years since the year of return. The monkey trail, the monkeys be jumping all on you. You're going to like it. They don't bite you. They don't hurt you. But the monkey's going to be jumping all on you. You're going to love it. That's why I want y'all to go to the monkey trail. Grandpa to grandpa. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> he just wanted that banana. Y'all got a banana? Who got I a got banana? <laughs> 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 Give him some. Oh, no, you got <laughs> push it, push it up, guys, so they can get more. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I told y'all I was the lion king. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I want you to go to the monkey trail. And the waterfall, the waterfall, it's this big waterfall. You stand under the waterfall. It's better than the beach. It's better than a swimming pool. It's a natural waterfall in Ghana. It's a natural waterfall in Ghana, brothers and sisters. It's a natural waterfall in Ghana. You will love it. It's, it's so spiritually cleansing. The water is so spiritually cleansing. All curvy queens must enter the waterfall with King Kong. All curvy queens must enter the waterfall with King Kong. All curvy queens must enter the waterfall with King Kong. Oh, yes. 14 days and 14 nights. Oh, yes. Who's coming on the trip? We got 45 seats. I take up one, at least 44. Who will be part of the blessed 44? Get your passports. Put the bathing suit on. Lord have mercy. Put the bathing suit on. Put the bathing suit. Lord have mercy. I'm just joking with y'all. I got a wifey. I can't be over there misbehaving. Consciousness over. I'm, I'm the group leader. I can't be involved in anything that's less than, less than, you know, less than honorable. I'm the group leader. I can't be involved in anything less than honorable. I'm the group leader. I'm the group leader. First night we get to Ghana, you could pick out your African clothes from the African tailors. All the African tailors will be there. All the African tailors will be there. You can get all your African clothing. Get all your African clothing. One wifey, I need the second one. Get you some nice African clothes. It's time for some new dashikis. 
It's time for some new kufis. I gotta. I ain't been to Af I ain't been to Ghana in six years, family. Peace and Pan Africanism, good sister, Doctor Umar. How are you? Who's going to Africa, family? I'm going to try to set up a lecture at the University of Ghana, University of Gambia, University of Senegal. Can you come as a Mexican? Not unless you're an indigenous African Mexican. Are you a Mexican African who, who came over with our great Africans from the empires thousands of years ago? Because if you a burrito bunny, we don't need no burrito bunnies. This is not a bunny hop trip. No burrito bunnies. All due respect. No burrito bunnies. No, 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 no. Much respect to the Mexican women, but this is an African trip. Unless you are African Mexican, the original Mexican Africans. If that ain't you, then you ain't coming. Can you bring your snow bunny? You will never get on that plane. I'm promising you that now. You could try it if you want, my brother. You could try it if you want. You will waste your money. That will be money wasted if you pull up with a damn bunny. That will be money wasted. That will be money wasted. In fact, you know what we're going to do? We want to drag your ass into the bathroom and chain you to the toilet. They won't even know you missed the flight. We're going to drag you into the bathroom and chain your ass to the toilet. They won't even know you missed the flight at the airport. You'll be chained to the airport bathroom toilet, my brother. That's what we're going to do. Flush the shit down the toilet. Oh, yes. Say it with me, brothers and sisters. We're going to flush the shit down the toilet. Oh, yes. You want to bunny hop on my trip? Be my guest. We're going to chain you to the shitter. That's what we're going to do. Oh, yes. It's Pan-Africanism a parish. It's Pan-Africanism a parish. Morehouse, March 18th, pull-up season. Coppin State, March 13th, pull-up season. Florida A&M, March the 25th through the 29th, pull-up season. New Orleans, Louisiana, March the 23rd, pull-up season. Tulsa, Oklahoma, Black Wall Street, Tulsa, Oklahoma, May 25th and 24th. Tulsa, Oklahoma, Black Wall Street. I'm pulling up for Black Wall Street in Tulsa. April, excuse me, May 24th and May 25th, pull-up season. If you meet a bunny on a trip, you will stay with that bunny. You will not get back on the plane back home. We're going to put you on a canoe. You're going to roll your ass back home. Oh, yes. Put his ass on a canoe. Let the ancestors deal with you over the mighty ocean of the Atlantic. Put his ass on a canoe. You and your bunny. Tie their ass to the slave ship and let the ancestors deal with you on the high seas. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Who coming with Africa? I'm going to make sure it's more sisters than brothers. It's going to be a two to three ratio. A one to two ratio. If we got 44 people on a trip, that means 33 sisters and 11 brothers. Nah, that's too, that's too, nah, that's too much. We're going to do 22 and 22. Can you bring your spouse? Of course you could bring your spouse. That could be your vacation. Don't let her catch you looking at the other African queens though. Because there'd be some fine women on the Dr. Umar trip. So if you're going to bring your spouse, brother, make sure you stay focused now. We don't want to be breaking up no marriages. If you're going to bring your spouse, make sure you stay focused now. Okay, don't be, don't be, don't be. I had a couple couples come on my trip and the, and the man started looking at the other queens and the queen ain't like it. So my brother, you got to stay focused now. If you're going to bring your queen on this trip, you got to stay focused now. Don't be, don't be, don't, don't be letting that gazelle, don't be letting that eye go too far to the right, to the left, brother. When we on that bus, you, you got to look straight ahead when we on that bus, brother. You got to look straight ahead when we on that bus, my brother. Don't let your queen catch you slipping. You got to look straight ahead. Same thing with the queens. You bring in your king, don't be thirsting for the other brothers on the trip now. We ain't trying to destroy no marriages. I'm all about black love. I'm trying to keep all the families together. I'm trying to keep all the families together. If you come in with your queen or your king, make sure you stay focused now. Don't start thirsty dipping. Don't start thirsty dipping, all right? We going for culture and consciousness. We going for culture and consciousness. We are not going for cookies. We going for culture and consciousness. We are not going for cookies. We must stay focused. Can the, <laughs> can the queen who threw the shea butter at you at the new black wall? <laughs> she said, can the queen who threw the shea butter at Dr. Umar at new black wall street, can she come on the trip? You tell me, do y'all want her to come on the trip? Do y'all want my chocolate sister who threw the shea butter at me on the new black wall street stage? Do y'all want her to come to the trip? It's up to y'all. If the sisters say they want her on the trip, she can come. I love my sisters. Do y'all want her on the trip? Because she might snap off on all y'all. She might snap off on all y'all. Are y'all sure y'all want the sister who threw, who ran up to the stage and threw the shea butter? Do y'all want her on the trip? It's up to you. Now, if she starts snapping off and kicking y'all asses, don't blame it on me. If she starts snapping off and kicking y'all asses, don't blame it on me.
Y'all need to talk to her. Y'all always trying to catch me in a compromising situation. I don't understand you, Negroes. Why do y'all live for my demise? Why do some of you ninjas... Why do some of you ninjas live for my demise? They be living for my demise. They still trying to interview the four-figure chocolate queen who threw the shea butter on the stage. They still trying to find an interview the four-figure chocolate system. from New Black Wall Street, February the 4th. These Negroes are still stuck on February the 4th and you Negroes still trying to find the full-figured chocolate sister who threw the shea butter on the stage. I don't understand. What you asking me what the reason for? I don't know the woman. Go find her, go find her, just like y'all did with the Cherry Hill Snow Bunny crisis. Go find her. First we had the Cherry Hill Snow Bunny crisis. Now we got the New Black Wall Street crisis. Damn, it's getting crazy. We had a bunny crisis, now we got a chocolate queen. Chocolate, full, full-figured bunny. Where my alpha males at, brothers? I'm gonna need y'all to come on with me. I can't handle all the queens on my own, brothers. Where my alpha males coming to Africa with the prince this summer? Last week of July, first week of August, where my alpha males? My unapologetically African alpha males. I need some brothers on the Africa trip. I need some brothers on the Africa trip. Alpha males, I need some alpha males now. I need a few alpha males on the trip. Listen to me, ladies. If you wear weave and perm, you could go on a trip, but I'm telling you right now, you better get your hair braided, get you some cornrows, don't come to Africa with no weave, don't come to Africa with no wig or no weave, because it's not gonna last. You're gonna be getting wet in the water, I'm telling you right now. We going to the waterfall, we taking the river ride, it's the rainy season in Africa. If you try to get through Africa two weeks with me with a weave and a wig, it will not work. It will not work. Make sure you get your hair braided, ladies. Braid that hair up. Get you some cornrows or just go bald so the African sun can activate your third eye. Go bald. Black woman, come to Africa bald with me with them big pretty eyes and them beautiful lips you got. Just cut it all off. Cut the bald spots out. Cut the weave out. Go bald. We gonna have fun. It's only one, one rule for Africa. It's only one rule for Africa. You know what the one rule is, brothers and sisters? It's only one rule for Africa. You know what that rule is? What happens in Africa stays in Africa. What happens in Africa stays in Africa. What happens on the beach in Ghana stays on the beach in Ghana. What happens on the beach in Senegal stays in the beach in Senegal. What happens on the beach in Gambia stays on the beach. If you come back to America and repeat anything you saw in Africa, you will be put in the book of Negroes. We will never see you at FDMG. We will never see you at FDMG. We will never see you at FDMG. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. My brothers, if your wife is going on the trip, tell me who she is. I'll make sure no brother will come anywhere near your queen because it's all about I am my brother's keeper. Black man, if your fiance, your baby mom, your queen, your earth, if she come into Africa, let me know who she is and I'm a step to that sister and let her know I'm keeping my eye on you. If you violate my brother, I'm going to let him know. Black woman, if your king is coming on the trip, let me know who your king is. I'm going to step to your king and say, listen, your fiance told me y'all getting married next summer. You cannot be on this trip cookie hunting. There is no honeycomb for you, my brother. No Cinnabons for you. You are here for culture and consciousness. You are here to connect with your ancestors and connect to your roots. Yes, you can bring your two-year-old. And if your baby is only two, they can go for free, but they're going to have to sit on your lap that whole flight. You sure you want that baby on your lap for 12 hours? Are you sure you want that baby peeing on you for 12 hours? It's totally up to you, my queen. It's totally up to you, my queen. It's totally up to you, my queen. Oh, yes. I'm reading off the African itinerary. Can snow bunnies go on a trip? Absolutely not. You show up on my trip with a bunny, I promise you, I will handcuff your ass to the airport chair. You can try me if you want. 
Show up to my trip with a bunny if you want. I'm going to handcuff your ass to the airport chair. I wish a brother would show up to my Black Star Line flight to Mother Africa with a bunny. I'm going to handcuff your ass to the airport chair. You'll never get on that flight. Oh, no, sir. Oh, no. You'll never get on that flight with the Prince of Pan-Africanism. Oh, yes. What do you need for Africa? Make sure you bring you an umbrella or a poncho, some flip-flops, a daily travel bag, like a book bag, a backpack. Leave the perfume at home. Leave the cologne at home because you ain't going to do nothing but attract mosquitoes. Leave the perfume at home. Leave the cologne. Bring you a roll of toilet tissue because when we're taking them long roads, if you got to release yourself in the woods with the snakes and the animals and the local wildlife, make sure you got you some a roll of tissue, bring you some non-perishable snacks. If you got your favorite cookies, your favorite chips, bring that with you. Make sure you bring you some bug repellent, some bug repellent. Make sure you bring a lot of shea butter to stay moisturized in the sun. Make sure you bring you some backup batteries for your cell phone because we're going to be going all day. Go to Walmart, go to Best Buy, get you about four or five extra battery packs Call your cell phone company. Make sure you get free roaming in Africa. Call your credit card company. Let them know you're going to be using spending your credit card in Africa. Because if you put that credit card in the ATM in Africa and your bank didn't know you was coming to Africa, they're going to shut your account down. Are Latinas allowed? African Latinas who identify as African can come on my trip. Only if you can identify as African and you have to prove to me that you have been identifying as African for at least the past 10 years. If you can't prove to me, my Latina queens, if you can't prove to me, my Latina queens, if you can't prove to me, my Latina queens, that you have been identifying as a member of the African race for the past 10 years, you cannot go. This is an all African excursion. This is an all African, unapologetically African, happy to be nappy trip. My African Latina family family is invited only if you can prove that you have been identifying as an African for the past 10 years. Oh, yes. One other thing, my brothers, you cannot have blonde hair going on my trip. Dear brothers, there's something very tender about the blonde hair. You cannot go on my trip if you got blonde hair. I'm just not feeling that. No disrespect to no brothers out there. If you got blonde tips on your dreads, I can handle that. If you got blonde tips on your dreads, my brother, I can handle that. If you got blonde tips on your dress, but if you got blonde hair, something about that is just a little tender. You cannot go on my trip with blonde hair. You cannot. You cannot go on my trip with blonde hair. I'm sorry, brothers. I'm sorry, brothers. Yes, we're going to take testosterone tests at the airport. If your testosterone levels are low, you cannot get on my airplane. If your testosterone levels are low, you cannot get on my airplane. If your testosterone levels are low, we're going to do testosterone checks. If your estrogen is high and your testosterone is low. <laughs> oh, God. Listen. <laughs> My Norwegian transgender wife needs her dose of estrogen. No comment. You are a zesty festy. I'm blocking you. Get your ass off. Got time for that. I ain't worrying about the zesty queens because we can unzest them. I'm not worrying about the zesty sisters. We can unzest the sisters. We can unzest the sisters. I'm not worrying about the zesty sisters. All they need, all they need, all they need is to be baptized one good time by the Shango. That's all they need. We can heal all the zesty queens. That's easy. That's easy. That's light work. The zesty queens, that's light work. They just got to be hypnotized by the Shango stick one time. That's that, that's like, we're not even going to trip on that. We're not tripping on the Zesty Queens. We're not tripping on the Zesty Queens. That's like, we can snap them out of that. Once they get that thunder and lightning one time, they back into their African femininity. 
Once the Zesty Queens get that Shango Lightning and Thunder one time, they're going to be back into the African Divine Feminine. I'm not worrying about that. My Zesty Queens, I love you. My Zesty Queens, all you need to do is be baptized by the Shango. One good episode of Thunder and Lightning, she'll be back in her African femininity. She'll be back in her African divine. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. That's okay. When I take it to the enslaved, when I take it to the slave dungeons in Africa, when I take it to the slave dungeons in Africa and lock her ass in the female slave dungeon, oh, she's going to snap out of that zest. Don't even worry about that. Don't even worry about that. Don't even worry about that. My wife, she's 2% black. No comment. I'm not even going to answer that. Your wife is 2% black. Is she going to trip? I'm not even going to answer that ridiculous comment. I told you, I believe in the one black parent rule. I don't believe in the one drop rule. I believe in the one black parent rule. I don't believe in the one drop rule. I believe in the one black parent rule. I don't believe in the one drop rule. I believe in the one African parent rule. I don't believe in the one drop rule. Sharon Queen Scorpio. Sharon Queen Scorpio. Shango, the divinity of thunder. There's only one God, my brother. There's only one God. Shango is the deity of thunder, the divinity of thunder. Ogun is the divinity of iron, the divinity of strength. Yemoja is the divinity of the female divine feminine. Oshun is the divinity of abundance and joy. You understand? Oya is the divinity, the deity of the winds of change transformation and revolution brothers and sisters there's only one god there's only one god olo dumare is one god many divinities many irumole many deities brothers and sisters one god one god not yemaya you're not latino you're african is yemonja not yemaya yemonja my sister you're not Spanish. Why are you saying Yemaya? It's Yemonja. We are African. Yemonja. <laughs> he said, if I meet a Caucasian woman in South Africa, is she still an African queen? He said, if I meet a snow bunny in South Africa, isn't she technically an African queen? You Negroes are so thirsty. So thirsty for the marshmallow pillow. You Negroes are so thirsty for the marshmallow pillow. You Negroes are so thirsty for the marshmallow pillow. This is ridiculous. This is y'all are so thirsty. He said he gonna go to South Africa and get him a Soweto snow bunny. He's gonna get him a Pretoria snow bunny. He's gonna get him a Cape Town snow bunny, just so he can say, "This is an African queen." You Negroes are sick. You Negroes are sick. You Negroes are sick. You can keep that marshmallow all you want, African. You can keep that marshmallow all you want. I don't want no marshmallow. I want that honey dip. You can take that marshmallow. <laughs> he said a boar bunny. A <laughs> Yo, that's nasty, brother. Come on, brother. Keep the language clean. Keep the language clean, my brothers. Keep the language clean. I don't care what the snow bunnies be doing with their tongue. That ain't none of my business. Keep the language clean, my brothers. We don't care what the snow bunnies do with their tongue. Now, y'all getting a little too... Uh, keep it clean, brothers. Keep it clean. Keep it clean. <laughs> Is Megan Mark? <laughs> oh God! Oh gosh! Oh gosh! Okay, to go another zester. Yeah. 
I met this snow bunny who told me she feels more black than white because she gone. <laughs> You dick grows so sick. You dick grows so sick. <sighs> five six one forty five. Divine melanin ninety two. I think I think I think that I think you I think you qualify. I think you qualify, my sister. They say you got more bunnies than Hugh Hefner. Come on, where my bunnies at then? Expose me. If I've been bunny hopping, will you please expose me? If I've been but can I please be exposed? Y'all said I had a white baby in London. Y'all said I had another white baby in Paris. Can y'all please expose me? If I got a European queen in Europe, expose me. That's all you got to do. <laughs>